Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lonsville. Now, today we got a lot to do. We've got to prep our defences, get everything going and get moving because we are 40 years in now and things are getting really serious. I've got to make a bit of money and one of the first things I'm going to do is actually move this tower over here. So we're going to start ramping up and actually protecting this area a little bit better. So when they come at anything over here... We're pretty covered so i think just for now i'm gonna do here so it kind of has crossover for the other stuff if they come in the other way not amazingly but the idea is to uh, cover inside of here and i think the other barracks i actually want to move it we kind of don't want them fighting over here and i've been thinking about it and it makes a lot more sense to do this like over here somewhere right so i'm thinking we get one of these moved it's going to take a little bit of prep work but that should be fine i can get one there I think we'll get the barracks in that area there. And then we should be good. That's a lot better for delivering of this stuff as well, actually. It makes a lot more sense. I was thinking about moving these two and bringing the wall up as well. But that's, that's for another time. But uh, thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. So welcome yourselves on in. I'm going to leave this bit a little bit longer and probably just leave it for now. We started working... Oh my god, it's going all weird. We started working on the ledge. So we've got a nice flat bit here. If we wanted to, I could bring that all the way up. And kind of keep doing that. I think I still want to uh, do some of it. So what we want to do is try and bring it up to kind of go along the edge here. And actually we could then gate and wall in this kind of area here. I'm not sure. And then have a tower up here if need be. If we were to put a tower up there, they'd try and then focus it. And they'd either have to come all the way around or go up to it. And either way it would annihilate it or slow them down and all that sort of thing as well. And we did have a trader come in. We got 147 beer to sell. So gold is looking tasty in here. So we probably want to look at getting the soldiers in. And I'm thinking if trebuchets and things start coming, we do have the three horsemen. So we're going to send those out to get those. Now over here, we've got six crossbowmen and we've got eight swordsmen, right? I think we're okay for the next one with those extra towers in here. Now the way we have it, they should more than happily path this way, right? They should. We'll see. So I'm hoping that's what will happen. I don't want to have to get towers over here. We kind of want them to funnel this way. And they should still do that. So we want them to come at this, right? That's the plan anyway. But I hope you're all well, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to continue to try and get some of this on the go and upgrade it as well. So if we look, we've got a few of the smaller gardens we can get upgraded around here. And just prep them ready. This, this It's actually looking quite nice over here right now. I really like it. Especially once we start upgrading to stone and getting these bits upgraded. And all these little bits that we can't put stuff in. I'll put little stones in as well. I think that'll be pretty nice. And then we'll keep trying to uh, trade stuff in. So what do we want to do? Flower's pretty good there, isn't it? But I don't think we're going to need that. We're getting low on the uh, the hides there, though. That's fine. I think, to be fair, I'm going to keep trying. I know that you can automatically do this. I like to keep it stocked up a little bit myself anyway. But we do make money from the beer from the pubs as well. So we might want to go consider getting a pub over here as well. So if we go desirability, there's a few in the middle that are doing pretty well. So I don't know. I don't know. I think we'll stick to just keeping the upgrades coming over here for now, though. We'll get all of these smaller gardens kind of done as well throughout. I think it'll look quite nice anyway once they're done. A lot of them for hand to handle over here, but that's fine. We've got plenty of bricks. So I'm sure we had a quota on for these. Uh, we did. There seems to have been... I'm actually going to... Let's go up to 300 for now. Not sure what happened there. Did my quota on this stop as well? No. I may have just misclicked then or changed that. And I don't know. But we, we are going for this upgrade here. We've got the bricks. Gold, which is not that far on the population as well. So once the upgrades start happening, we're pretty good. And with this upgraded marketplace, I'm pretty sure we can squeeze a house or two along the edge. We've got plenty of room around the back here. And it makes sense to actually get some in. So I think I'll do that as well. We'll go start. I don't know. We'll plonk some. I think I can fit a couple over here. Let's go with those two there. I'm pretty sure they reach. I think that's enough. So we'll do that. And then I should be able to get one over here as well. We just squeeze one in. Kind of on the edge. Next to these gardens here. And then one there. And then we've got room for other things I can earn in there as well. So we'll go ahead and get that one earn in there as well. That should cover it. Perfect. A little bit skew if, but we'll take it. That's a decent decent kind of yield we should get from those as well as the upgrade. And gold is looking pretty healthy. I'm quite I'm quite okay with that. 
All right, let's keep upgrading all of these paths and stuff. So they do hopefully come the right way. We don't have that much stone, but it takes 30 to get that one done as well. Probably connect these up as well. But what we want to do is make sure they do come through this bit here. So we probably want to get that upgraded as well. Don't really want to hold them there that much. What I should do is probably open that. So they do come at this. But I'm pretty sure that does mean we ha it saves us a little bit of time to organize as well. There's another trader coming in over there as well. So just in case, because you never know, do you? We took out a few of the raider camps in the uh, last episode as well. That was out here, wasn't it? They keep coming back, but they're okay at the moment. Let's go see what this trader has. Okay, anything for me? Well, there's furniture. Let's get that in. We need to keep trying to make the money here, so that's important. Let's get a few of these in as well, because I think he's got a bit dollar. Glassware we're not messing with. If there was sand, which I need to keep an eye on, actually. If someone does have sand, we need to take it. But they don't at the moment. I'm not going to move into getting paper or anything like that early on. That's a very late game for me. I need to focus on the army and stuff and getting these upgrades done as well. I think the big... This one or this little park over here would do the world of good as well. Be fair... I'm going to hit that upgrade. I reckon that's going to cause these last ones to at least upgrade as well and give us a bit more room, so... All right, furniture's in. Let's start by selling that. That's a thousand. Get a bit more gold out. These are starting to look much better on weed levels now as well. They may have fixed it in the background as well. I haven't seen the updates kind of happen, so we need to keep a close eye on them. Because, to be fair, they're all looking really good. So, and I'm told, is it buckwheat? Buckwheat seems to be one that kind of stops the weed. Yeah, 10 out of 10 weed suppression, look. Pretty sure they're pretty good as well. Note zero. So yeah, buckwheat's the one then. If we get one of those in, we'll knock the weed levels right down. Alright, once we get our tier 4 town hall, I will be upgrading the goat barn as probably our first as well. I'm not sure. I know the, the, the barn gives us goes to 20 population, doesn't it? But you don't get much more birth rate out of it. You get a lot more milk, I guess, for the cheese. So we'll have to see. And tallow and leather. Alright, stone is coming in now. I think we've got enough to upgrade that one as well. And I think... Yep, I'm seeing some houses finally upgrade over here, so that is perfect. And the ones over here also doing their thing. Let's get that well upgraded as well. And let's get ourselves through this winter as well. 13 people. I think I'm going to have the house space in a moment. 372, though, almost 400 population. So, let's check in. I have been seeing you, your guys' names. Let's go up to 20 builders. 39 there. I think I'm going to go ahead. We'll get another pub over there, and I'm also going to hire up... Two more. So we're going to go for two more light infantry. Let's get those guys in and then we'll hopefully have everything we need. So I did switch to just pure halberks at the moment and we stopped the shields because we've got plenty of them. Enough swords. We've got the heavy weapons when we need them and armor when we start upgrading there as well. And heavy tools are coming in. Nice. Don't need to worry too much. But we, the population definitely does go up quicker than before, which is really, really nice to see because it was a bit of a struggle before. I'm going to continue to upgrade all of the smaller ones around here, guys. So if I go into desirability here... Yep, it's looking pretty nice. There we go. Look at that. I don't know why you're so good. Surrounded by gardens, loving life, look. But we'll take it. The second batch are looking good. And I'm definitely, like I said, this is going to be the, the zone. Alright, so this is going to be the new housing zone, eventually. We'll change that up as well. As you see it then, so we've got one tower, two tower. I kind of want to test now to see what comes in, so... It looks like our food store is getting mighty full, so we're going to need... I think we fixed our issues with uh, food. Let's go ahead and grab another. Can we fit it around here? Not quite right. Uh, I do kind of want to keep it over here, though. I want it to be surrounded by the rat catcher. I already moved one from over there, I think. We'll see. And let's get this barracks moved over now as well. Let's see if they're recruited. All right, they're all good. So we're going to get this one relocated right over here then. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay. Oh, it does fit. Perfect. We're going to want to wall that eventually, but for now, we'll just get it over. Now, they will run towards this to attack it, but I think we'll be able to hold them off for the time being. And that does maybe mean that we could get gate. We could wall off this. I could move that, get gate and a wall coming over here. Kind of rearrange this. Yeah, we'll have to do a bit of shuffling to see what we can do with that. Alright, let's check desirability to rare. We go. We got some like 89s over here, so they're well in. They're well into what they need to be for tier 4 there, which is really, really good. We're close to being able to get that as well. Alright, let's see where we can put this pub as well. So that is amenities pub. Right. Desirability is really, really good on this, but we're gonna have to play it in a way. So we've got the garden over there, haven't we? Which covers most of this. I could make this look really nice somewhere. But desirability, 
need enough room to kind of bring them in. Makes sense to kind of have it here though, right? Right, so let's have a look. To be fair, once that's moved, we may well have enough to do that. Let's get all of those guys, quickly get rid of that. See? Oh, yes, perfect. And I can fit a couple of benches outside. That's exactly what I want to do. So we're going to go for these ones. We're going to have them. When these guys upgrade, like that. So they're all facing. So these kind of, yeah, it's not very nice for the house there, but that's fine. We can rearrange it. I love, like, the obscurity of it anyway. And that pub's going to give them all the desirability from the ones we moved. All right, they're all hard at work mining every... I forgot that we do have this one tower up here as well. Yeah, so if we upgrade this one too... Yeah, I don't know how much use... I just kind of like the idea of having one up there. I know it's massive waste, but... I don't know. Maybe I move that one too. Let's get this one moved. Let's actually utilize it then. So, that's a pretty good hill. If they come at this doorway then... Kind of have them pelting from here. Just kind of makes sense to have them all in here though. Next to one another. Defending as much as possible. Maybe over here then. They can cover that little area as they're coming in. Oh, we're being raided. Chill, man. 51. Alright, they're coming around the back. But this kind is weird because... Oh, they're not. They're coming from two ways. One over there. One over here. So we'll kind of play it. I'll uh, get the bell rung as early as possible. That is a smaller amount, so we'll see. But there's beer at an increased rate there. This is incredible. Get that popped up as well. Beer production seems to be a pretty good one. Get those sold. Get this transferred out. We are saving the money up quite well, which is good. We're doing well on that one. And we'll keep that moving. Uh, there is some soap there at a reduced rate. Crossbows, some meat. Meat I'm not too concerned about as well. Going to cancel the move of the lookout tower just in case they come over here. We've only got the one soldier in there, but... You're actually going to come at some point? Takes them ages. They might be gathering outside then or some kind of raider camp. I don't know. All right, how are you guys looking over here then? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six of the new houses. We, our pub's almost in, which could cause another splurge of some as well. Hopefully they run across here. So we've put no towers along here. They should path the easy route. If not, then I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to pretend I know and I'm, I just don't. Got this trader. I don't know where he comes from because he's out in the river. But all right, let's speed it. Let's try and bring this raider over, the raiders over then because I have no idea what's going on here. And let's continue to do the right thing and get all of our roads upgraded as well. We got There's a couple of roads that we need to make sure we don't miss. 17 livestock born. Mostly chickens, to be fair. Right, the traders come in before these raiders. I still don't know what's going on. They, they're kind of... They must be behind the other river, right? Let's sell this before this one goes as well. And let's see what the next one's got then. So, hides are getting pretty low. Have you got any? Sand as well. You do have some hides. Increase rate, but we'll buy a few just to kind of top us off. And then we'll see what you've got. So pottery, increase rate. Everything's increased rate. You've got a good amount of wheat. That is flax and crops. We don't need that one. Uh, beer at increased rate, so no. Tool production is looking pretty healthy. I think everything else is good. No sand, unfortunately. They do have bricks. Okay, well, uh, well, we'll have to say goodbye to you because you're not giving us any value. But we've got a few upgrades on the houses here after putting that pub in as well. It makes the world a difference. Please feel free to attack at any point. That would be wonderful. Let's get that road upgraded as well. And we'll start getting these ones done. So we get bit, bit faster production throughout the uh, settlement as well. My iron looking. So I'm just I'm keeping a close eye on these two because I, I keep noticing they're dipping a little bit. Handles are good. Sand is still low. So we definitely need to buy that in again. So as these houses upgrade, to be fair, I'm getting better taxes too. So that's always good. 382 on the population. We're still waiting for this raid to come through. I, I really don't know what's going on. Might just unring that bell for a minute until they come then because we're losing on production here. And as we've got a little bit of gold coming in now, let's continue to upgrade some of these gardens that are knocking about as well. So bench and stuff's upgraded here. It looks quite nice. What else have we got? Another garden there we can upgrade. Try and get all of these lowly uh, housings done. Let's also do that festival pole. And then we'll also get the other festival pole this side upgraded as well. Those upgraded flower beds are quite nice. You like it. That one's struggling to uh, get anything, actually. It's coming in yet. No... Couple of illnesses, they're fine though. And I'm going to prep these guys, all these smaller gardens. I'm going to also get all these going for when the next lot come in. I may be able to get these. So once that's upgraded, theatre upgraded, temple upgraded, and these gardens, most of these are going to be ready to be full whack anyway. I'm just going to get the last lot of gardens kind of buffered and upgraded there. And I'm going to start putting some trees in. I'm going to get that one upgraded as well. The food's lasting a lot longer actually, and we're getting a lot more in because of uh, barrels. 
But I got a chicken that's running away. It's all the way over here. What are you doing? Right, we'll see. The chicken might run us over. It's kind of sc there. They are. Look. Are the wolves fighting them all? Look. Oh my god! I think they're stand. I don't know why they're standing there. The wolves are eating them though. So whatever. Stay out there. I don't know whether you're bugged. Unless they stay because we killed the raiders camp and they don't attack until then. Who knows? Let's close that and then we'll just deal with them if they come. Right, Halberg's creeping up a good amount as well. We've got our other settlement here. All garrisoned and ready. All got these swords. I had no names for the swords companies, so please do ping some names in for me. That'd be wonderful. Let me know what you want it to be called. I was thinking about expanding this too. So you have the uh, expand crop field, right? Thinking about breaking down this. Moving the ease maker over to here. Get that prioritized and let's get this one field expanded. I'm going to expand it just up to here, I think. Got our population is growing super fast, so we need to work on this little bit over here as well. So if we can get up to that 400, we should be able to get the upgrade. These are all still going nicely over here as well. Did I do any other gardens around here? I don't think I did. Obviously, at some point, we may move this out. We're going to have another, maybe another housing... It'd be cool to mirror it, wouldn't it, either side? That would be pretty cool. All right, cheesemaker's gone, so we'll get our wall tool, and I'm just going to break down these. We're going to salvage those out, and I should be able to expand fields under minimum size. Okay. We need to move all this out, really, then, don't we? Okay, what I'm going to do, then, bin that out. Let's get these moved over a little bit more, and then we'll get all that done. I'm going to expand this out as much as I can. I don't know whether that wolf attacking them is the cause for them not attacking me. I could always send soldiers out and have a look. Oh, I can expand it there and then go that way. I kind of want to do it to there, though. That'd be good. Hurry up and get these moved. Let's get these prioritized. A couple of people brawling from the pub, it looks like. Bit of a scrap going on there. This is why I don't like them, man. But you... Toxicated. The teacher. Wow. You can, you can kind of... Oh, he, he's dead. Not dead, he's passed out from the drink, so he's fine. I'll well, try and sell up a bit of the beer when it comes in, because actually it's quite annoying. Alright, I'm going to sacrifice a villager and actually see what's going on over here, because that's bugging me out. Let's see how many are over here. If there's enough for my soldiers to go and kill, I'm going to go kill them. Gold's looking good, though. Alright, they're finally moving it now, so I'm going to expand this last field, and then we'll be prepped and ready there as well, so that's good. And I'll continue. The flagpole did just upgrade, so we might see a few more go there as well. There we go. Now that's done. This is the priority. Weed level's looking really good here, actually. I'm going to expand that. And then I'm going to get the rest of the road just around here. So we want to attach it. Kind of bring it up. That'll do. I can move that clay pit over one as well, to be fair. I don't think you can move the pit, can you? No. That's fine. We'll leave that now. Okay. Yep, that's fine though. We'll have the extended uh, veg the field at the moment. I'll rebuild the fence eventually. Let's check in on the traders, though. Actually slow it down a little bit to prevent lag. Oh, yes. All right. Have you got... Oh, stone's looking good, so we must have got to work on that. No sand. A shame. Iron's really cheap, though. Let's give her a little bit of cash and just buy in up a little bit. And we'll sell all this to her. The, that soap right there is a good one. A big earner. Nearly a one grand there, anyway. So, and then we'll drop a little bit in. Just going to top up a little bit more as well, because there is a trader coming in, and we could actually sell a little bit more to this one anyway. Make sure we got a few things in. I might transfer in a few tools. That might be something we can sell as well. Uh, food's still looking good. We managed to balance it really good. It's year 42 as well. Uh, did we go over there? We did, didn't we? I wasn't keeping an eye, but they didn't die, so... Go back to the trading post here. Number two while we wait is buying some beer, and there is some spices there. Wheat we don't need. Swords, a reduce rate, that's good. There's some tools. I don't buy loads of those in, I just keep myself buffered on it as well. There's a lot of beer that we can sell. Desperately want some sand though. Might still buy in a couple more spices. We're going to be upgrading soon. And the heavy tools are also going to be sold. Alright, soap's in. Boom, look at all this gold, man. Holy crap, get it in. We're going to hit the population shortly, so I'm going to get enough in ready to the upgrade. There we go, and we'll sell the candles across. That keeps us enough of those. And then it's just the beer. And there it is. Get rid of all that. And there's nothing else I want from you. We've just made a mint. So we need officially eight. So we need a few more bricks. And planks were nearly there on anyway. I think I've got a quota of low amount of planks actually. We need to make sure we have, I know, 300. So they'll keep working. 
bricks. Is it 300? Let's go to 350 so the bricks start smelting up as well. Oh my god, there's another merchant as well. Okay, I've got nothing for you. I've got no furniture to sell. Have you got any sand? Damn it. No, he's nothing of use to us. That's fine. Cool, right. Let me check in. What's your What's your deal? Right, we could do with getting then a small garden over here or an urn actually in this little spot. We've got one there actually, so I don't want the same. But a statue. This we're going to decorate for the other area anyway. So let's get a statue right there. And what else have we got? So we've got a little bit of gardens we can still do here. I've got, I want to get this one bit of a uh, thingy done. So let's get that up to stone as well. And then let's... You know, what else do we want to do? So this giant flagpole was in. Another couple of gardens here. So we get these upgraded as well. Our benches did get done by the pub as well. Right, like that. Just a couple of ones. Once they upgrade, they'll go to the next one as well. So nice little drinking area for the new... Little, uh villagey area but if I could be bothered I could just spend this actually get that thousand that will pretty much boost them a good chunk get the rest of those upgraded uh can I get a house or two down here we could get a couple of houses in there's another spot there as well so back end of this let's put a house there oh and I think I'm not sure don't quote me on this I'm gonna try it there might count it counts for these guys halfway through, so that should do. So let's try that as well. And obviously the upgraded roads here will work in our favour. I'm tempted to send my soldiers out, guys. Might just grab the archer units from this way. Let's go have a look. Because that's bugging me a little bit. Now this could end up shooting us in the foot a little bit, but that's fine. This does seem to be the path they want to take, because it's a single offence, so this is double. There's no gate or anything to cause them to lead this way, so this should work. They should always come this way. We'll have to see later on when they've got the trebuchets and stuff, though. That's why I want to go and have a look here. Just have a look. Everything else is looking fine, though, so I'm not too... Oh, I've got to be careful how I guide them, because I don't want to run them into too much trouble here. But that should give us enough housing slots, then, to uh, get the population up. Bricks and planks are plenty. Enough. I'm going to slow it down in a second, because I think they could be a bit further back. Now, if we go press the fertility button, there they are. Oh, my God. Look. There's a boar eating them all. Can we get veterancy here? I think we can. I don't know why they're stood there, to be honest. I don't know whether they bugged or... Like, that's a trick, by the way. Ch click the desirability and it does clear all the brush out. Yeah, I'm not sure what this means, but we'll do it anyway. Get some veterancy here on these guys, so... Who knows? I just get a whole position with these guys, and they should just shoot them all. And it's working. Let's move them forward a little bit, see if that old position does still work. Who knows? Going to shoot, guys? Um, when you tell them to attack one, they start to attack the next, so... I don't know, this might get rid of the arrow, though, at least. They have heavy weapons, too. But there's nothing crazy here that's going to cause anything. I think he's out of arrows. <laughs> All right, you can now go home. Good defensive stance. They can go home. So we've got rid of that one. <laughs> we could probably do the same over the other end to get rid of this then. That's fine. Oh, we could upgrade the shrine too. Costing us a bit of gold. But I think we're okay on gold. Maybe this one. Yeah, there's a couple here that aren't done actually. What's the upgrade cost then? I don't think there's extra gold cost, is there? Increased upkeep by four gold. Let's grab it. That's not too bad. We can cope with that, right? And I'm going to start to flatten this bit out, guys. So I'm going to plant a little bit of a garden or fence area around here. So I know we still need to do the flattening on the other bit, but I'm actually going to go ahead and do this anyway. So from the garden, I think we're going to grab the strips and try and get this to a position where I can at least do the, the gates you know, around this area. Let's try it. Statue has gone in. I don't think it fixed this one, but it's mighty close. Let's also get, be fair, wouldn't mind some kind of flagpole around this area. They aren't the strongest, but it'll look cool defensive-wise over here, I think. And then I might get a couple of smaller gardens over here as well. They seem to do the trick, right? A couple of gardens there as well, just to kind of buffer off the, uh, the tower there. Then when the winter goes, I think I'll grab the other soldiers and we'll go deal with this. Although I think the wolf has killed most. Yeah, we killed 30 anyway. Just so we can get rid of it. I'm not sure why it, why it's doing that, but... It is the 
playtest version, so it does happen. Now, I haven't got Apothecary Shop yet, just to get this one upgraded just yet, so I'm not sure whether it's worth it right now. But, that being said, we do get enough medicinal herbs in, so... We are in a position to start grabbing in some of the resources that we don't quite have yet. So, paper mill and book binder. We'd need another farm for that, I think. I'm tempted to uh, probably here for there. I think it's under amenities. Yeah, apothecary. So, requires a hospital. So, we'd actually have to upgrade probably one of these. I think I'm going to do it then. What does it go up to? 40 from 25. That's a big money boost that we don't really want to spend just yet. But that'll probably hit the desirability as well. Okay, we're on 399 anyway. Let's focus on the upgrade first. What do we need? 300 bricks, 5,000 gold, 200 planks. Why does all my planks keep on furniture, maybe? And yearly tax is coming in. We've got 5k sitting in our bank as well. And the trader should be coming in real soon. So I'm not going to get any of this in yet. We're going to hold fire. We're looking good on a lot of this stuff. Plenty of flax in. So actually, if we wanted to go into book, probably could. No sand, though. Oh, not the best. Let's see how many we've got in these guys. We could probably get away with one more in there then. That, that should be fine. And there's the population. So, 5,000 gold, 200 planks. So, we need to boost planks right now. I might just reduce this to stop them. Let's go down to six in there. Let's grab out a little bit of gold. Do a bit of upgrading. And then we'll hopefully get the planks in. It shouldn't take long now that we've turned those down. They'll hammer through the planks anyway. Uh, wood's fine anyway as well. So, let's grab our soldiers now. Let's see where these guys are. And as soon as those planks hit the number, we're going to go for it. Probably just, yeah, look at the height difference raining arrows down on them. That is crazy, isn't it? Might be able to take out these wolf camps, but I'm pretty sure all of the... Now that they're open. That raid finished? We just kill these while we're here? Why not? Okay, you can go back. Raiders are approaching. Okay. Uh... <laughs> We have another raid then, so I'm not sure. Right, we triggered another raid straight from that. That's weird. All right, we're okay though. We can we can deal with that. Look at all these baskets we can sell. Okay, get in there. Oh, sand. No, why can't I buy the sand, man? Beans? Are we actually being raided properly? 74 this time. Right, we might be, so that's good that we did that. This is good. We might get to test and see this tower in action here. Right, they're walking this way. I saw that. All villages under attack. What the hell are you doing out there? Oh, you're going to pick up the meat. Okay, they are coming then. So they're coming around the back here. They're going to come this way. Let's ring the bell. And we've got the two thingies here, so we should be good. I think my hunters have decided to go and do the deed, though. Like the silly people that they are. Come out of there. This way. That's it. Go over there. Get inside, because we'd rather not get you guys dying. Oh, or just die. That's fine. <laughs> That's only a small amount, so the mass... Oh, they're all spread. Okay, we've got this one tower annihilating these. We could grab the horsemen and try them out. Could run some down. Try it. Let's do it. Let's let's go, Let's go. watch the horses come in. Down the hill they go. Where are the other guys? They're coming this way. That took them some doing, but they are... Part so if we can fix this area, then we could fix exactly what we want here. They've all died anyway. Right, I'm going to keep these horses ready over here. All right, I'm going to go hold position. Then we're going to run them in on these guys, I think. Or these. We could go around the back of these guys. Kind of want to test them out, but at the same... Yeah, good do. Go see. See what they can do. Not concerned, though. This is going to get absolutely annihilated as it comes in. Look at that. So good. They're from higher point as well, but because we've got... Yeah, they'll come to this one, but we're fine. If we, yeah, if we wall off this bit, then we could even attach it there. Look, and that, that does kind of wall it in. That back end, we just killed all of those anyway. Where's my horses? Where are they? Are oh, they here? I'm gonna let them break in, and I'm gonna see what the horses can do. They might come to this marketplace. So, although is that all of them left? Uh, yeah, that's hardly any. Try them out. Get them. Get them, boys. Yeah, get out of there. Try and bait them over. I don't want to lose any horsemen. They cost a bit. Yeah, I think that other raid was definitely bugged then. I'm going to use these. I'm going to send them into this whilst they're still here. You should annihilate them, though. You'd think. Don't die. Yeah, they did. Okay, cool. 
Go get these boys. Get them, boys! Don't worry about the others. I don't really want them to kill this. Get them, boys! Horseman going in. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, an army of heavy horsemen's going to be mental, isn't it? All right, you're allowed, you're allowed to go back now. That's fine. Get this rebuilt. Easy enough defense. And you can go. I could probably get that upgrade going now as well. So let's uh, let's do the upgrade. The tier four, baby. And let's get this in. So what does the second trader got? Any sand, please? No, but look at our halberds. And beer. Get it in. God, every single one is just buying up beer like crazy. Although that... So that was a very successful uh, defense. And I like the horsemen. I'm probably going to get a couple more in. A full company of that is just going to be nuts. Like swing them around the back. I think that's flattened enough as well. Look at that. So we should be able to now decorate this how we wanted to as well. So I kind of had an idea of attaching these. So what I want to do, I'm going to start doing it now whilst we wait for those to go in. I'm going to go to road and fences and I'm actually not going to use iron. I'm going to use the brick ones. And now that we've upgraded our brick, I can go ahead and do this. And I should. I would love to do that. That's a shame. Okay, so we're probably going to have it. Do I need to move this back one? What I could do have a plan. They're making that much beer with just two people, by the way. Just want to point that out. I'm going to salvage that and we're going to get rid of that. And then what I'm going to do is put in my iron gate. I want it to be at the front of the theatre. I think that's cool, right? And then what we're going to do is probably path all the way around this. It's going to be the start of the nice decorations because we can kind of afford it now. I'm going to go that for now. And then we'll bring this costly if they destroy it to be fair probably that and then like that right so it is fenced off and we're also not blocking the gate and what i want to do then is also move this one so you can actually go in here just nicely and you're still covering your area pretty much we'll just play that one so we'll build a little bit in here temple took a hit or two there which was weird check in Two more in there so they could do a bit of that building. Yeah, and I'm thinking about iron fencing across the back of here so it is kind of separated. And I could probably bring the statue over a little bit as well. Let's have a look at this before it goes. All right, we killed 62. 74 is the raid size. They didn't take anything. So we're good. And with that tier 4, we're, able to, we're going to be able to upgrade all of this and start selling the spices as well. And there's the beer going in. Let's make some wedge. We didn't get in time for the other one, but that's okay. Oh, look at this. Clothing as well. They're not going to have much gold left, though. Might be worth us transferring a little bit of that in. And then anything else I don't think we need, so we're good. Everything's gone in for them. Gold is almost gone now. And I'm going to start to upgrade the thingies now as well. And we're going to need to make sure we have them. Once we go to the next tier, we're going to be earning a lot of money from these anyway. We've got three in the market. We may need a fourth at some point. But definitely having that furniture pumping is a good one. So I can put that back up now as well. Yeah, in a very, very good spot. So we'll slow this down a little bit. That one is finally upgrading. He's got his little gardens in place. And I'm also going to go ahead and upgrade those as well. This area is going to look really nice, I think. Especially when this upgrades. Probably going to put some benches along the edge of these here and in the back of the temple as well. But the upgraded temple is crazy. So how are you looking now? So we need to work on the weed level and stuff over here, don't we? So let's sacrifice those beans there. Let's get a rake in that one. We'll start bringing this one to where we want it as well. At the moment, I'm going to leave this open. Doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. Let's have a look. I think I could get away with more honey and stuff if we wanted to in the apiaries as well. Let's get this last bit of beer sold though at the increased rate. Clothing, you've still got thousands. So let's... Almost all of that. Let's sell it. That's good. And you're not worth anything else now. Please have some sand. Yes. Right, 647. Taking the lot. <laughs> right, we're good on sand for a little while then. So we can actually produce our glassware again. Pickled stuff selling pretty well. We're going to hold on to all of the food for now, though, I think. Now, is there anything else we want to get from? We've got enough green. Bricks are going to be going back up anyway. We could... A couple of halberds. It seems a bit of a waste to not sell. Yeah, we are producing these pretty well. So let's get in 11. All we're producing at the moment. So let's sell some of those. Same with some of these swords. Take that down to about 15. Yeah, that looks good. Well done, those soldiers. They absolutely did ruin that. I think I'm going to bring the wall over this way as well. So what we'll do is get this just here, like so. And then I'm going to bring the wall the same as that. I don't think I can do it there, actually. I'm going to need to shuffle these down one. And I think that should be fine. So we're going to bring that wall piece to there. 
then you pottery i think this is a bad desirability or is it okay oh it's okay nice so we can bring the pottery actually over here pop it there then and then we'll move this all the way down so we'll shuffle that we'll probably turn it on its side and then move this over as well and we'll start probably i could either bring the the fence that way you bring this down one bring the wall that way and then wall this bit as well so kind of bring these in that might be okay and then we can kind of get more valuables in here if we expend expend all this stuff who knows there's ideas right let's go ahead and sell to this guy before he disappears though that two thousand for those swords look at this it's just crazy how much money you can make off these guys man if you produce the right things that's just the way to go right and there it is though sorry guys forgot to show you the tier four town hall absolutely gorgeous i love it oh man we're in a good spot right, let's get that one focused on now as well let's get that going prioritize someone just died in front of me so we're on 404 let's have a look so straight away we've got houses going to top tier that didn't take long and we should be able to ramp up the gold so spices should be going into the marketplace now we'll see them kind of go off into here i think once those upgrades come in the first house upgraded yet doesn't mean we're going to need to upgrade the hospital to do anyway let's move on to better things here let's get this relocated and we're going to flip it that way to save a bit of room let's get that prioritized and we'll get five builders doing that as well anything else you want to do with this guy seems naughty not getting all those in you know let's buffer our bricks up a little bit because we're dumb aren't we get those out maybe the glassware as well just whilst oh, he's gone almost missed him got some and we've got 2095 hours at some point we're going to need to change that because we're not running on the towers as much that you don't need as many now let's have a look just here so i'm thinking another theater over here guys with a nice garden area no temple obviously you can only have one pretty sure but i think that would be nice that one can be upgraded too so maybe i don't know we'll see where we're at gold wise once a few of these get upgraded look at that the, the first manor house right here loving life got the basket makers all that in here beautiful once we have the stuff in all these are going to upgrade especially when i hit that as well and then we'll get a wall and stuff around this barracks i've got people telling me that i need to be careful because when the attacks come i've got it in hand i'm 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 happy it's all about microing your, your things right this moved as well we're lining up this stuff nicely. We're going to get these storehouses upgraded soon just to make them look nice. Let's get that prioritized as well and moved over. Oh, we have all the deep coal mines and we can actually get a mine on this gold now as well. All right, something to look into. We're still good on that anyway. Two towers covering here. We were going to move that one tower because I don't think they're pathing over this area. What I could have done, to be fair, to cover this back bit off is move this. I wonder if we can get this up here. And... That's just nuts. If they come this way, that is just E1, isn't it? We can kind of wall that in on its own up there, I think. I'll get that upgraded as well. And hopefully, I'm going to continue to try and flatten this to here. I'll try and bring that down. There's an unlimited stone times two up there that we can grab as well. All going to come in really, really handy. Anyway, we got those moved, so let's do the last bit here. So we're going to move this. Can I rotate? No. So let's leave a little bit of a gap like so i think so that should be pretty cool and then hopefully i can get the last bit of this wall done as well that's a good little extra defensive prep bit i've done and we've got a pretty secure town hall i think at the moment and then the next thing is to probably get in a couple more horsemen i'll actually grab one more for now one more small horseman um i feel like four is pretty cool right at the moment we only have silver shafts we've had one name for the horse the horseman so i'm going to wait for a couple more names if you want to name them um, but thank you so far for anyone that has given names as well. I love it. Really, really, I really, really appreciate it. It's super cool. So we're going to go deep stone quarry. And we're going to pop this. This thing's massive. So we're going to need to flatten this out a lot, I think. But up here is going to be good. And that tower is going to defend it. So let's keep working on this. It cost a fortune too. I'm going to see what happens once that one finishes, in all fairness. Because that should then give us kind of indicator on how it's going to flatten. There we go. That's looking good. Let's try that one more time. Go like that. 
get that on prioritized so I can see what it looks like too. But we're all good. Year 44, guys. We're looking pretty healthy. I'll check in on the traders in the next one. Guys, I just want to say thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining me as always. As you see, we are well into the tier 4 now and we're looking strong. There's a lot of houses upgraded here and gold is looking better. This does mean we're going to get attacked a hell of a lot more if I'm honest. But that's fine. I'm ready for it, you know. As always, though, guys, if you aren't subscribed, please do. Smash the thumbs up and thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.